Hi viewers, uh, welcome to our channel BSP Voice, Voice with Bitla. Today uh, we have a guest from uh, USA, who is from India, uh, Vijay Lalita Valiveti, uh, who was uh, right, a chemical engineer from B.V. Rajan Staff Technology. Uh, right, the year 2016 passed out, 2016 passed out, uh, so that uh, after that she wanted to become the right the researcher indeed so that uh, she was intern of uh, right in ready uh, ready laboratories so she was uh, uh, intern of uh, ready laboratories uh, as safety and health intern and uh, at the same time 60 active pharmaceutical uh, ingredients for drug manufacturing and uh, diagnostic kits critical care and biotechnology products where these were very important for the entire because the pharmaceutical industry from India is really spreading all over the world. Most of vaccines from India itself produced from India itself. So that way she started a career in ready, ready laboratories in India. Then she reached the place uh, where the USA, of course, it's a dream of every student. So that uh, after one year of that time, so in 2017, uh, right, uh, she she had, she got admitted uh, right in MS, MS uh, MS in uh, occupancy safety and health, uh, occupancy uh, safety and health, which is from Marshall University. So she has done her MS from Marshall University, USA. Uh, then uh, immediately, of course, the people think that uh, the things come to the people right, only who goes for it. The same thing happened in case of Lalita also, after uh, right little struggle, uh, she she got a job over there and then she joined uh, right in different companies. So like uh, as she is your an energetic, dedicated occupational safety and healthy technology and graduate professional with the intensely specialized in manufacturing production research and education and training fields at the same time strong working knowledge in safety audits and employee training and uh, plant operations and maintenance policies procedures with proven track record for successfully delivering the results oriented and prestigious institutions in the usa and abroad i would like to gain so it is her intention i'm telling about lalita would like to gain a full-time employment as as she wanted to become so that she became the full-time uh, right imply uh, here where you right um, ben uh, benaria research institute here um, brazil benaria research institute which is uh, in seattle washington dc so so this, uh, as we learned uh, from her really uh, great hard work at the same time perseverance, especially the girls who are today in India, the perseverance and perseverance, persistence are very important to the girls, especially to move ahead uh, from India to the other country where no relatives, of course, sometimes, and uh, no acquaintances. We had to go for them and uh, right, we had to acquaint with the people uh, who are foreigners who are, and maybe very less and Indians and her technical experience uh, which comes here uh, she, she was in that end-to-end -end hazard recognition training and risk management and proficient in the workplace safety and health practices she undergone training all these indeed experience in plant or operations operations and maintenance emergency response uh, planning and site control measures fire extinguisher procedures and uh, rescue planning, loss injury prevention, worker scam, and uh, hazo, hazo, uh, right, hazo standards, industrial hygiene programs, and PPE, right, concerned to the entire, whatever the chemical industry is required. She undergone, tr undergone training for, right, uh, for the better position. So better position doesn't come simply to anyone. So just really, I was amazed at seeing her, uh, right, resume here. So, so many, it's more than three pages of resume and uh, how she could actually cope up with this, uh, how that perseverance requires you. So as we learned that uh, she had done, right, environmental health and safety uh, graduate assistant in Marshall University. That is graduate assistant experience uh, in Marshall University was also one of the right uh, achievements we can say, or achievements are like that. And uh, Freshers Initiative, 
project, uh, which is in WE uh, statewide research project team, including biologists, economists, environmental engineers, etc., focused on understanding the ecological and biological impacts of various containments found in water under different weather conditions. So she worked uh, on this. Our MS actually uh, covers all these, all uh, right, uh, I mean to say, criteria. And the safety and health, uh, and, uh, Dr. Lady Laboratories, as I told you that, and at the same time, safety intern in 2015 from IACT. IACT is one of the prestigious institutions of uh, India, uh, as far as it's concerned to chemical engineering, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. That's through CSIR. So 2015, uh, she was intern, safety intern in chemical engineering from Indian Institute of uh, Technology. So she, her actually, that uh, desire was not uh, right fulfilled so that again she wanted to move ahead from that so that she moved to America and that Indian Stock Chemical Technology is a national level research center as we all know which is in Hyderabad itself so that uh, and this is it is administered under the Council of Scientific and Research so that primary focused on the research in applied chemistry uh, bioinformatics chemical engineering contributing to the industrial and economic development of India their research and development programs relate to the development of uh, pesticides, drugs for fine chemicals and catalysis. So you know that today any any branch, any branch is moving forward for only uh, software industry, right, information and technology. But Lalita would not be like that. Uh, uh, she was in the core company and she wanted to become only core chemical engineer, engineer so that uh, she worked in this even for the less uh, economical support. So software industry is uh, giving much uh, right salaries, but here, whereas in chemical industry in India, especially in India, it may be somewhat less, but uh, her uh, perseverance was not at all, right, uh, given up. So then these are all here positions of uh, responsibilities, member of American Society of Safety Engineers, at the same time studying the student member of Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers, class representative for the UG uh, class 2012 and 2016, where I was a, a teacher for her in the right, she was a class representative also in BTEC, uh, right, chemical engineering from BV Raj Institute of Technology, which is in Hyderabad, that means uh, Narsapur Medak district, active coordinator, the NGO street cause India. So how these qualities really, uh, one girl has to gain, this needs really one commitment and patience to any one of them. And major your key achievements we can see, awarded like first place by CSIR, IACT. So in 2015 for a paper presented on a material safety and health hazards. So uh, presenting paper in IACT is a dream to many of uh, chemical engineers. Where Lalita presented the paper and uh, got awarded the first prize for our presented paper, material safety and health uh, hazards. Uh, so it was uh, one of the achievements of uh, our Lalita. Awarded first uh, for national level project by IIT, apl application ERT for bubble column and active participant of the national conference and uh, chem, chem care workshop organized by National Stop Technology. So, so she's very active in all the activities like uh, it may be extracurricular or academics and uh, any technical phase, whatever. Awarded first place for the technical quiz conducted by JNTU BVRIT, university level uh, quiz also in 2013, 2015 between that uh, she was uh, the first place uh, candidate in chemical engineering where the technical quiz was conducted over there. So these many are there actually there are many credentials uh, to her credit, presented a paper on applications of ERT for a bubble column a uh, hydrodynamic study in national level techno technical symposium as part of undergraduate event from a in 2015. Presented a white paper on occupational hazards and risk management in the national level technical symposium as part of undergraduate e event uh, from in 2016. So all over, these are all the right the great uh, credentials to uh, her right credit, we can see. And at present, she is working here, right? Uh, facilities uh, safety coordinator. She is working as facilities uh, uh, safety coordinator at uh, Benaraya Research Institute, um, which is in uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, so it is uh, pride to our India and especially BVRIT too. The student who is from the state of uh, Telangana, 
and uh, the institution institution which is there in medak district uh, narsapur and from narsapur to uh, seattle what's journey of uh, lalita let us see today uh, so that uh, this will be definitely inspiring to many of aspirants who wants to who, who want to become right uh, like um, uh, like any kind of chemical engineers or who want to go for abroad for higher studies or doing any kind of core kind of jobs so people uh, right non core non i mean to say it and csc right more opportunities are there but as it comes to chemical engineering and uh, the other some other branches might not have right that opportunities as uh, as like as um, csc and it but uh, by seeing lalita's achievements definitely the other uh, ke uh, chemical engineering and other C with civil and mechanical uh, triple e and ec also will have that inspiration to go for only their core uh, right sectors with the perseverance not tempting to the the immediate money so that it's a long run how would be that let us see in the words of uh, ladita so uh, ladita welcome to our channel bsv wise wise with bitla very good morning good morning to you and good evening to me <laughs> very good morning and uh, very good evening to everyone thank you so much for um, it's it's really my pleasure to come talk to you here in front of everyone sharing my voice uh, expressing what i went through that's really a great uh, achievement thank you so much sir for giving me this chance thank you thank you very much for uh, right uh, coming over uh, my channel bsd voice yeah uh yeah come on so uh let me start from my undergrad so uh let as you all know i graduated from uh pvr it that is medak narsapur and i graduated with my chemical engineering uh degree so once i during my btech that is under graduation i pursued two many projects like you know one from uh, iict like in institute of chemical technology one from actually from yeah, dr reddy laboratories i did a project over there and assisted in various fields like you know research safety and i also uh, surprisingly also did uh, one from iit uh, which mm. is not in my resume yeah uh, i did one from iit for which i even got my uh, presentation iit iit from which uh, which state iit uh it's hyderabad okay very good very good ah oh. so uh, i did i did a group project over there uh, under narsimha reddy sir so so you know uh, given with a combination of too many projects so that's how my um, from chemical engineering to you know occupational safety and health technology that came out because uh, it's actually a branch in chemical engineering that none of Uh, maybe most of them will not even realize that's actually a combination of chemical engineering uh, instead uh, people will opt um, uh, core chemicals like you know thermodynamics mass transfer heat transfer but instead if you can sit down and you know uh, jot your dots like you know see what best you can come up with what's your talent in or what's your combination in just go for it like you know try to understand what you want uh so in my case i i did my chemical engineering and then as a branch of chemical engineering i chose occupational safety and health technology that's like uh, uh you know it's a great combination i figured it much more in detail once i did my masters from marshall university yeah so yeah. what's that is even occupational safety and health uh, right marshall university what you did what you have done over there uh, what it is concerned to indeed Uh, so it's more or less it's like you know safety culture like let's say uh, for example if someone in every industry any company they require a safety specialist to see their safety regulations let's say if people are working in the manufacturing sector so they need a safety specialist to undergo and see what regulations they are following while preparing some product uh, let's say if they are uh, constructing or developing a policy uh, for state okay uh, for example even let's say it's a covid 19 situation so everyone is concerned about what pp they wear what level of uh, pp they are wearing levels in the sense level 1 level 2 level 3 n95 so these are all uh, developed uh, by safety specialists so that is what we do 
so we come up with policies we come up with regulations we come up with inspections we correct the mistakes and uh, you know it's it's for the better government it's for the yeah. better safety culture so when i did my masters that's from marshall university uh, so i chose occupational safety and health technology uh, during this process i also studied a lot about um, uh, environmental policies like you know what happens with our epa government so in okay. united states there's a government or there's a sector called uh, environmental protection agency or an act so uh, it's a part of safety uh, let's say something goes wrong with the nature or something goes wrong with the uh, environment here epa is the one who finds or charge to the uh, opponent who is committing a mistake and uh, it, that's how it runs here mm. So once I come, uh, I I'm a I'm a graduate assistant under dean of college, and uh, he gave me a great what opportunity. What does what does it mean here, graduate assistant? Uh, would you teach the people there? Uh, so there are three uh, three kinds. One is graduate assistant. One is uh, like a prof uh, assistant professor assistant. Yeah. And then one is like a writing assistant. Okay. So graduate assistant is something we support or we uh, support in the research of whatever the uh, professor is doing. Okay. So I supported a research project uh, under my dean. That's a college of uh, Marshall University. So he gave me a great wide range of opportunities to understand what I want to do in my future. uh like let's say with a person who is coming from chemical engineering and then moved to safety and then also worked on environmental mm. that all together you know i got a wide range of chance to work in any field like you know uh, let's say chemical let's say safety let's say chemical safety okay so that that's how a chemical safety name comes out uh so i am currently working with benroya research institute that is in seattle washington state uh definitely it's it's a biomedical laboratories that support their research work on autoimmune diseases and that's a worldwide well recognized uh, uh, government agency or the you know company who also who is a parent to, uh, parent to you know benroy uh, virginia mason hospitals okay so, what was what was the process of getting admission uh, into the university uh, you mean master university yeah what uh... what you are what you did your ms so i uh, i did my gre exam and i wrote my tofel exam once i'm done with my scores i decided on what uh, major i want to take major is something like you know what uh, course i want to take what was the sc- uh, score at the time uh, my gre is like 302 and oh. uh, my tofel is i guess it's 98 okay 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 good good, good score no problem yeah that is very fantastic yeah. ass yeah so that uh, how how you actually cope up with that academics and preparing for tofel and gre uh simultaneously it's a give and take you know if i'm giving some uh, giving my complete effort i want it back in a beautiful uh, like you know beautiful um, situation like i want to enjoy my fruit so you know simultaneously uh, morning to evening i go to my college or meanwhile i study in between my college hours with my friends yeah. like you know fun fun activity mm. so once i come back i dedicate my two hours to literally my gre and tofel or uh, and then you know two hours is like really a great thing if you are really? trying to give yeah. a mm-hmm. yeah, carry on carry on carry on if someone is trying to give a gre exam or tofel exam try to go with gre first and then tofel next because tofel will only take you like uh, a week to just write that exam because it's nothing it's like listening reading writing or uh, comprehensives so yes. it will not give you uh, much stress instead try to complete your gre exam which is a great uh, thing first complete your stress first and then go for tofel Mm, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what was the process of uh, right, learning the TOEFL, TOEFL and GRE? Uh, what, what was the methodology they used for you, right? Uh, so, I joined Princeton uh, Training Center. Uh, that's what I remember. Uh, yeah. So, uh, once I joined that, they gave me this uh, immediate classes. Like I used to uh, listen to this American accent, and that is that is my listening skill. So, mm. I need to understand what American accent people yes, speak sir. like. so when they ask me questions like uh, what happened in the situation i need to re- uh, 
you know remember back what that american accent uh, mentioned in that particular thing yes so yes. once like uh, and reading is something like a uh, english whatever if you if you in back in india if you are reading novels it's it's the same thing it's a reading test uh, back in india if you are writing something it's the same thing your writing skill so compromise in something like you know uh, when you are young they give you uh, a paragraph and then try to ask questions from it that's like comprehensive yeah so exactly. um, i think if your basics are strong if your foundation is strong maybe you know this is uh, nothing you can literally answer it uh, with a week of uh, preparation total so it, and then i get, i got a little push from uh, princeton university i mean princeton coaching center they helped mm-hmm. me understand this concept the timing Ta- timing is the most important here yeah, because if you're taking to a- right if yes. you're answering a question in 10 minutes you're going to waste your entire total paper yes. so instead to uh, princeton helped me to answer that question in 30 seconds or 50 seconds mm-hmm. good so, good no. uh, that's a great uh, motivation or steps because definitely everyone uh, need a push or understand what is the process once you understand the process it's pretty easy to uh, do that some task or work yes it's exactly what you said that uh, this uh, right uh, encouragement and uh, self motivation also very important to the people to move forward so after that uh, what then next from there so uh, what better uh, i i would suggest everyone to you know take your time understand what you want choose what you want and then give i literally gave myself like 6 months time after each and every task let's say after my undergraduate graduation i gave my 6 months to see what i want to do in my future in that way my entire future will not be wasted oh god and huh. after my uh, ma- masters that is um, uh, from marshall university once i am graduated i again gave 6 months to 6 months is my time so it's not important for you want to give 6 months some mm. people can take 1 month some yeah. people can take 10 days depends, depends so i took 6 months uh, to understand what kind of a job i want to do what kind of sector i want to go into like let's say uh, the safety is something you know they are like different branches uh, in safety there is construction safety in safety there is also mine safety in yes. safety there is uh, aviation safety that is like something you work uh, with flights or you know like yes, that yes, yes. and there is also a safety that we can work in research centers yeah so have you chosen the branch chemical engineering branch uh, your own or unknowingly just you had taken the branch uh, i took it by knowing it because i know i want to do something like chemical engineering because i'm not a great person who sits in front of a computer or <laughs> uh, you know standing in front of my desk like a robot for 100 and 1000 years or ages you so would know then it's that. you would know before that joining in chemical engineering yes yes um uh, i'm 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 strong in my science and i'm very bad in my math so oh. i thought why can't i um, um, you know enrich my foundation and then do something better with my good qualities or better things Can but most of the students say that uh, chemical engineering is the toughest branch of all branches of the engineering right it uh, surprisingly it's also included a bit of math but more or less it's a chemical math like you know chemical calculation calculation stuff thing right uh, surprise i think uh, chemical engineering students will have a great wide range of opportunities to do like you know let's say uh, mass transfer heat transfer thermodynamics environmental nanotechnology you know which is mm-hmm. growing right now and then another branch which none of them realize is safety you know yeah uh, uh, j- uh, like i told uh, maybe everyone should sit down and think what they want and understand what they want and research about what you're going to do that's the uh, one good uh, thing i we should keep oh, doing was there any all right encouragement from your parents side uh, doing like this okay you join in this and after that you do like this otherwise you have taken your own decisions <laughs> uh, my parents are really very sweet they never uh, said no no to anything so whatever it is it's uh, uh my opinion with their decision so if i want to pursue something they definitely encourage me to do in that like you know let's say i want to do hey dad i want to do uh, my masters in so and so major so my dad will be like of course do just research so he give me tips to how to research that he show me that path mm. so uh, that's really helpful uh, like my mom she she's uh, uh, she's also from a chemical background so she understands what this uh, means so she helped me a lot to figure out my resources or 
the steps I can follow. Okay. Who is actually the most uh, right guiding guiding force for you? Your mother or father? Definitely everyone, including uh, <laughs> my teachers, uh, my family, everyone, um, and my sister as well. So everyone yeah. in this. Uh, this is something like a teamwork I did. Uh, it's not a single thing. It's just financial help. It's just supporting. It's your talent that you sh uh, shred some light on that knowledge. So it's everything. Without a teacher, we will not understand what the subject is. Yes. Without a father, we will not understand what his financial struggle is. Without a mother, you will not understand what path you need to catch. As a as a girl child, I need to know. Uh, I need to sit in a comfortable position and work from a beautiful place and not, uh, let's say, if I take construction safety, what I'll do, I'll yes. be on um, uh, roads and doing some civil engineering activities, which is mm. not viable, which is not comfortable okay. thing for my uh, being a girl team. And again, I'm not a racist. I'm just um, giving uh, uh, my idea. That's my opinion only. Okay, so okay. I chose something like a biomedical labs where I can sit in a lab and do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. so, biomedical lab, how it is concerned to biomedical lab, the chemical engineering and biomedical engineering is totally different. So how does it actually uh, concern to that uh, a chemical engineering? Uh, it's a biomedical lab that do some autoimmune disease research. And research is again something what chemical engineering do. So it's a interconnected uh, subject, biomedical uh, and chemical engineering. Although most of the professors, relatives, they are working in biomedical laboratories. They perform their chemical activities, like chemical engineering activities, like thermodynamics, like physical physics, or, you know, these are basics. It's like that. Okay. Uh, so chemical engineers can be taken into biomedical engineering also, the companies where they require so what are the so in my in my specific case what happened was uh, i'm a chemical engineering engineer yeah. and i worked in safety so as a combination i came out as a chemical safety person so okay. most of them recognize me as a chemical safety specialist what is the profile of that actually what the job you are doing that uh, occupational safety and health okay and uh, what you said that uh, right uh, okay uh, the uh, yeah as uh, uh, as my responsibilities with uh, facilities and safety coordinator, I work with most of the principal investigators in my office, at my office, and okay. I support the safety culture over there. So let's say there is a chemical spill, like uh, let's say a chemical acid or a base that's spilled on a floor. So how well you're going to follow your safety culture and make sure that will not turn out into a great accident. Yeah. Instead, I will give my expertise in understanding what, how they need to clear this off right away without any emergencies. It's very so, good indeed, yeah. Uh, if you're not a chemical engineering, how you'll understand about uh, uh, various chemicals, what the components are. So everything, it's interconnected. So I need my safety uh, knowledge along with my chemical knowledge. Uh, that all together, I kept it with uh, what I want to do. Let's say we are doing COVID. Uh, right now, my lab is also doing COVID-19 research. Oh, and they are, I think uh, Oxford right, people are doing that, uh, right? It's like vaccine. Oxford University mm -hmm. is doing that. Uh, even your lab also is under that. Yes, we are also supporting uh, Kaiser Permanente and uh, other foundations with our research. So mm. uh, we, we are one of the testing centers as a Virginia Mason hospitals. We test uh, patients' samples. Well, we also uh, see if they are testing positive, negative. If they are testing positive, that's again uh, another process. If they are testing negative, mm. uh, that's a good thing. So, yeah. How actually? Uh, so, let me uh, let me ask you. How how does Trump government is uh, controlling this pandemic situation in the right uh, in the USA? Uh, well, uh, to be diplomatic, uh, that's growing and doing really okay. But there is no even lockdown also, I think. Uh, long, do uh, long days uh, lockdown was not there indeed, it seems, in America. Uh, I'm not a great fan of uh, um, any government, neither India nor America. But um, yeah, uh, even if Trump uh, pro did his, uh, followed his lockdown, I don't think he can fo uh, follow his lockdown more than three months or four months because economy is crashing down. I know people's life is uh, our first concern, but uh, in the reality, 
इफ़ इकोनॉमी Okay, very good indeed. And uh, okay, after that, uh, right mm, from right B B Tech to right G R E to fill then M S. And what was in between that? Uh, so one year gap, uh, right? What did you do during that period? Uh, I took like six months gap after my graduation. Yes. yes. Uh, let's say I think I graduated in the month of December. I got my job in the month of April. Mm. uh during that time i spent my two months with my family they came to america to visit me i mm. had a lot of fun which is very important uh, it's like family. you know gifting yourself right yes, yes. Uh, it's like you know it's your you achieved something you're uh, appreciating yourself so i want to appreciate myself i want to enjoy my victory of completing my masters so i took my two months out of six months and then remaining four months i sat down i one month i want to see what i want to figure out and the rest 3 months i dedicatedly applied for whatever i want to do which is safety yes sir. so uh, so without without planning i don't think anything can be possible so i'm a very planned and organized person so yes. i prefer sitting down and thinking rather than rushing and doing a mistake yes of course uh, that was a really great indeed uh, so right handling the both the situations at a time uh, it was somewhat difficult to the girls indeed Uh, but uh, you had it that stamina and the capacity to handle the things uh, very good indeed okay then let's come to the all right you are schooling what schooling indeed actually what was uh, your experience with the teachers and uh, there in the schooling how was that and uh, what you felt about what were your dreams uh, at the time of uh, schooling <laughs> honestly at time of my schooling i never thought i will land in a place like this so uh, it's a beautiful childhood i uh, did my 10th class from basvi public school i did my intermediate from sri chaitanya college that's so common every, <laughs> uh, that's very uh, it's a common thing from uh, every indian indian, every indian <laughs> goes through this process you complete your schooling join nri or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that uh, sri chaitanya narayana college so, do your mcs i especially, uh, I, especially especially in hyderabad it has become common to of the all that actually to join in uh, their in chaitanya narayana right so, that's like a ritual we that's like a tradition no no, no no now we are advertising through our channel <laughs> <laughs> is it okay uh, then okay uh. uh it it was great i'm a very outdoor person active person i used to enjoy a lot i mean it, um, my parents are never complicated parents they give my own freedom maybe that's one good thing uh, that happened with me it's not like um, i i didn't come up from a restricted family they gave me a wide range of opportunities to do whatever i want in my life well i respect that back and yeah. i um, Uh, respecting back is very important because if they want to misuse that that could be a different impact uh, mm-hmm. but respecting their uh, the freedom which they gave is very very important uh, so they always encourage me for extra curricular activities uh, i'm I, i like to play sports like basketball or you know yeah uh, in schooling also you had that uh, hobby of uh, playing uh, yeah. basketball yeah yeah back in my schooling my dad used to take me to a basketball training center he used to make me play it's just a fun game it's not yeah. like i'm a very very pro- professional. professional or something no no uh, i uh, i just played and enjoyed i tried every different activity like painting dancing etc everything uh, nothing went really well with me yes um, so that's true indeed uh, the parents uh, support is very important for growing up any child so you, you what's your father uh you mean his designation yeah uh, yeah profession okay. professional oh by profession he worked for state bank of india and my mom worked for vijaya bank mhm both of uh, bank employees bank officers <laughs> great okay okay flourishing everything <laughs> okay very good very good so very good indeed even uh, working in a uh, right banking sector and sending the two girls and two daughters to the usa it was really adventure to your parents what was the reason that you yeah, yeah what was the reason that your parents sent the two daughters to abroad 
Um, there is no reason, but uh, my sister, she uh, she is definitely a gem in uh, studies and everything. She is a great person. Uh, she actually chose to uh, do her master's first, hmm. uh, and then she wanted to be independent. She wanted to pursue her job. She wanted to see her opportunities here. And then uh, my parents are someone who believe uh, they they need to give equal rights for everyone, like every. Uh, daughter or son so mm. they uh, they asked me if i want to pursue this and definitely why not if i want to work with a great paychecks why not uh, mm. so i thought maybe i will figure that out there is no particular reason it's just that i'm following my sister's footsteps yes. that's all yeah exactly good good so you're you're drawing now 70 70000 dollars per annum it seems 75000 dollars <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a great indeed to know that indeed it's a pride to you. you should not feel shy that you are right earning dollars right it's very good for india also indian currency mm-hmm. is increased because of the right dollars which we get here and exports from india too right am i right right definitely. right, right. Uh, so what do you think of that uh, indian uh, indian uh, right employment mm-hmm. right indian employment uh, uh, should go forward uh, right in all core sectors what was what would be the measures uh, should india uh, indian government should take uh personally i like my own country india th- th- that's doing great it's, uh, it's under developing well and it's mostly developed as well it's yes. giving wide spread of opportunities for everyone to do in every sector uh, if they can uh, create m- many more uh, job opportunities for everyone, if they create leveling up, like, you know, giving promotions to everyone, uh, appreciating or, uh, you know, uh, coming up with new ideas, new companies, startup companies, that's what I heard. Uh, that's a great platform for everyone to, you know, start how to uh, come up. I think that's paying a lot. Yes. Uh, maybe we need some training, that's all. Just encouraging youth icons. Okay, uh, what was your dream indeed when you were in teenage? So teenage uh, was somewhat a critical position to any girl or a boy. So what was your dream at the time to become like? I got no dream then. Um, it's just that I was going with the flow. I uh, Back then I was not much organized. My, back then I was not much uh, career oriented because it's teenage. So uh, my main vision will be like, just go to college, enjoy with friends, come back home. But I think there will be certainly one point where you will understand, okay, this is what I want to do in my life and this is how I want to go forward. Uh, I think uh, once I reached that point, that's when I realized, okay, maybe I should take my career seriously. Uh, For example, right now. So one year back when I joined my company with Vendor Research Institute, I'm not the same person anymore. Back Mm. then, it's just, uh, definitely, uh, back then it was just, you know, I, I should get a job. Once I got my job, it's a very good career learning path. So my manager is a, he's a really great person. Getting a good manager or a supporting yeah. manager is very important. It's very important uh, to anyone. Right. So he's a person who guides me, like, you know, what courses I need to do, how I need to enrich this uh, career. So he guided me. Now maybe I'm having better ambitions. I want to do my certifications. I want to do my uh, more learning that adds much more value to my education right now. What are you going to focus now? What are you going to focus on the right real learning of from now? Uh, now my only goal is to complete my certification that is associate safety professionals. Mm. So once I complete that certification, I will have much more opportunities to do uh, with my career. I can play around with my career. Okay, uh, okay. I can take this to the next level. So uh, I, I really want to do that certification and then I want to be some industrial hygienist. That's another career path of my safety culture. So you see this route like, you know, coming up with a chemical and then going to safety and then coming to industrial hygiene. This is all a globe. Mm. Like, you know, wherever you go, wherever you rotate, every this complete knowledge will be the same thing. It will come yeah. back to me. Yes, yes, yes. So I need to use all the skills. So right now I'm concentrating on my certifications. Yeah, very good. Uh, so further, right, you go on for that actually professional uh, upgrading. It seems that professional upgrading is certification is important for you, right? Right. Because until I join, uh, it's just like, hey, no, no, I should get my job. I need to settle with my visa status, everything. 
so after i got my job after i understood what i want to do that's my uh, my next goal will be my promotions i want mm. to move forward with my career it is sure really promotions how would be the promotions over there uh, every 2 years or every 5 years like uh it depends on how well we are doing so uh, let's say if i complete the certification i might be having an opportunity to level up my position if it's not happening in the present company i can move forward with different company so okay. definitely uh, uh definitely you know the more you learn the more you see yeah definitely uh, so that's that's true uh, uh, according to our even work even if uh, yeah, they are to, not ready mm-hmm. yeah according to our work uh, we have to get definitely that uh, recognition too otherwise uh, staying at one place is uh, it's not uh, meaningful right yes so i i still remember back in uh, uh, back in maybe 20 years or 30 years uh, people they used to work for 30 40 years in a single company yeah uh, that's... <laughs> they, they they would like to grow with uh, companies that's what my parents uh, taught me but uh, this generation definitely it's different it's about opportunities it's about finding resources it's about everything the fast growth is important now the fast growth because uh, the environment is like that globally it is totally wo- world itself has become a village today so that uh, the opportunities and the competitions are so high unless we o- overtake the people others will overtake us what do you think of this one definitely it's a it's a very good thought because uh, let's say back in uh, back in some ages before uh, companies used to rule us they used to take the leverage and say just do it or you might be out of this company now what happens is when you study more when you understand more when you pursue like certifications now it's like you pay me more or maybe i will be some different companies okay so uh, study more i mean you know uh, create your own i mean i i personally suggest everyone to create their own path like let's say if i'm having the certification asp now i will be having leverage to do whatever i want okay like you know if companies are, are going to offer me a great uh, position or you know the company is going to uh, understand my dreams it's very it's a good thing if not i'll have an uh, open opportunities for different companies that will be a quick move for me what are the what are the chemical companies uh, over there in america f- moving forward uh, for your life career uh a chemical engineering engineer can work anywhere like let's say he can work in microsoft he or she can work in microsoft amazon apple so, uh, so other than other than software industry other than software industry what are the core industries are really uh, offering uh, a progressive kind of uh, activities for the chemical engineers or uh, go for, uh, go with uh, research companies like universities offices colleges uh, in my seattle it's like you know there's a fred hutch hospitals or my uh, virginia mason hospitals or university of washington which is uh, world recognized so uh, you can go with that or people can also prefer to go with uh, manufacturing companies like air gas or uh, air gas is a company where they deliver or prepare compressed gases yeah you said that uh, yeah yeah air gas what does it mean here the air gas one more uh, that uh, term uh, you heard air gas is, is uh, air gas is a company that Uh, it's like a vendor to my company they they supply us uh, mm. our bendroy research institute with compressed gases okay. and these compressed gases are used for uh, our research work like oxygen nitrogen hydrogen so uh, there are ma- many many uh, manufacturing companies so one chemical engineering or one safety person can pursue with uh, multiple manufacturing companies okay so how how you have come across that your the safety management kind of uh, profile to to be done by the chemical engineers uh, in stuff uh, testing and all how you come across this kind of profile mm-hmm. like in what sense yeah, generally it, it's it goes for the testing or some other laboratory work like uh, chemical engineers and some other but uh, so the- i uh... i don't do any research work i only give my safety expertise to persons who do research That's so if that. someone is doing a uh, if someone is committing a mistake in policies like let's say a researcher uh, if by who is working with covid-19 sample and do not know how to carry that sample properly from one lab to another lab yeah. that is going to be a blunder that is going to spread by, like to everyone 
instead what a chemical engineering or what a, let's say specifically a safety engineer can do is give them with the right knowledge of how to do that or how to carry that yes so we uh, we as in safety engineers need to need a very great knowledge of you know every subject every research project yeah how does how does uh, uh, the laboratories how do the laboratories uh, in your btech college uh, help helpful for you that uh, handling this kind of profile uh, it's a learning curve it's a learning curve uh, trust me but uh, back when i'm doing my undergraduation so i did not even know this all will be a, a a knowledge that will help me in the future i just did that subjects i completed i got my grade but mm. uh, moving forward let's say this is connected to my master's subject oh then i understood things may things were easy for me back then like okay i did my undergraduate i understood that subjects i came back to my masters now i can relate my masters subject with my undergraduate subjects if there is no foundation definitely uh, one cannot understand what they are doing in masters what they are studying in masters okay uh, what were the memorable uh, experiences in bb rajan stop technology narsapur uh, that's definitely a great college <laughs> i cannot uh, complete that in one line uh, it gave me great friends it gave me Mem- memorable friends. memorable moments of the college uh, when you are in your uh, during 4 uh, years of time i i enjoyed every bit of my day every bit of my life uh, i found really a, uh, a great friends that are family right now so yes. i think that's one of my great memories yes exactly exactly uh, yeah because of nature and all the environment actually enthralls everyone right it's a that's hard a be- that's a beautiful college i should say professors yeah. or teachers i mean everyone everyone can you share any people. any memorable uh, incident in college any memorable incident uh, which you really uh, heartfully happy and uh, right which is in your in the layers of your mind uh, i think every single day at uh, starting 11 o'clock to 11:30 i used to get out of my classroom i used to go out with my friends i used to eat a lot of food uh, i think that's really a great great thing i miss right now so because was, was everything in my class to... indeed between that was in my class was not <laughs> <laughs> no no i think it's not your class it's um, uh, i don't want to reveal that to you but yeah it's someone else class Uh, okay so, i would see every time every time whenever i <laughs> i was there in the class you were there at the last bench <laughs> right i'm a back bencher surprising like very bencher. a back bencher why was like that actually do you what do you feel that is any sentiment that back benchers uh, would create the records oh, that, no uh, most of them used to take the first spot then we are like okay no problem if you want to take first spot just take it we are happy sitting bank otherwise it's sentiment like okay taking back benches uh, definitely would be great people like <laughs> <laughs> see that is what it happens uh, i'm pretty sure uh, whoever sat uh, behind now we are all doing great we are all uh, doing great with our careers let's say one of my friend asha let's say one of my friend anudeep yeah, yeah yes uh, yeah. They, they are uh, doing really great in their career so i don't see back bencher first bencher right right yeah so this would be there uh, asha and harsha would be right in the beginning of right benches and you no, and no, asha i used to sit with uh, asha every single time so yeah in middle benches indeed sometimes you you went back uh, benches like okay maybe <laughs> okay anyhow is there any sentiment that uh, what the question is that is there any sentiment to the students that sitting back benches will create the records <laughs> no 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 there is no sentiment <laughs> if they are going to really uh, make good of their life they will study they will work hard they'll respect their parents uh, situation if they are not going to uh, do any of these things life just continues with a flow for them hmm. then uh, coming to the point next let us come to the marshall university so what were the memories you carried from uh, marshall university uh that's a very good question so that's where my entire life or the way i see united states has changed because uh, uh, marshall university gave me a chance to you know we, we need to do we need to work part time while we are studying mm-hmm. i mean it's not mandatory it's just okay. that supporting yourself independently in that country without any support yes yes oh. so if i do my ga position if i do as a part time job if i do that job 
I'm able to pay my rent. I'm able to pay my bills. It's not that parents will not support you. It's just that stay independent. Okay, even in fact, elder, we should help. The elder sister stay, uh, uh, stays in, in the U.S. only and parents are both uh, BAM employers. So mm-hmm. what is the reason that you wanted to work? Um, it's just, I think it's American culture. See, uh, when whenever we see someone, we adapt that culture. Yes. So whenever I saw my American friends, they literally used to start, uh, they work, they started working from when they're age of 16. Hmm. Uh, although they are from a well reputed family, well settled family, but still they work in um, gas stations or they work in libraries. Why? Because if, you know, they will, uh, once we do something like this, they will respect that money. So I think uh, personally back in India, when I am in my undergraduate, I used to spend a lot of money. I used to waste a lot of parents amount. Yes. It's like, you know, I, I never used to count that even literally I used to get a card. I used to. I know, spend. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you always said uh, so, the food court used to be there at the food court sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I used to waste yeah. a lot of money, but uh, now when I started working, when I did my part time, when I paid for my own textbooks or you know that thing, I understood what is the value of money, what uh, how we are going to spend it. So uh, I think it's it's really a great thing, you know, whenever you shared that at least uh, a little one single dollar to your parent from to you from your pocket, I think it's a great feeling. I, I wanted to enjoy that feeling. I did. Really great, great. Uh, good uh, good daughter to the parents. Uh, really, <laughs> they're, they're really proud, they're proud of you, uh, definitely. Uh, so, then, so, what was the methodology they taught the chemical engineering in Marshall University? So, I did a project with the uh, uh, West Virginia state government uh, on, you know, that's uh, collecting water samples and seeing how the water samples uh, exhibit the chemical uh, nature or a component. Let's say if water is consisting of sodium, how much amount of sodium and what is happening with that sodium amount to the ground, like earth surface. So uh, it's again a connectional link that helped me to understand the process. I completed that project successfully. I received uh, multi, like uh, many, many, many uh, uh, appraisals for that project and because of that project maybe I even landed in Bendray Research Institute. Yeah, so what I'm asking that here, what was the methodology they follow? What was the methodology uh, they, they were following for the right teaching of like is it Indian education system or some other oh, like... You mean about the teaching or about my job? Teaching, teaching methodology. Uh, uh, teaching methodology is completely different. I used to attend one hour a day hmm. uh, that's all. That's my college. That's one hour a day or two hours a day is my college life. I did that's not attend eight hours of my college life in time. Meeting guides. That's it. You used to meet guides. Uh, the remaining all you used. That, to... That's all. That's all. Mm. It's a very easy going environment. Uh, they literally, uh, let's say back in India, how we uh, how we uh, mention professors like uh, yes sir, no sir. It's it's okay sir. So back uh, here in United States, we call them with names. Yeah. Uh, like, let's say if uh, their name is uh, Rowdy Bush, that's my professor's name. So Rowdy. I refer him. What's uh, name? Rowdy. <laughs> it's Rowdy <laughs> Bush. Rowdy Bush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, I refer him as uh, Hi, Doctor Rowdy Bush. So okay. I need to call him with name. That's the culture. That's here. An, that's enough. Doctor is enough. Doctor and professor or whatever it is title is enough uh, for. Uh, uh, so, so even if it is not a doctor, let's say Macintosh, I call him Hey, uh, Professor Macintosh. So I need yes. to call them with. Professor, the professor. that's it. That's a title. Professor that's itself right. is enough. Uh, sir, again, yeah. not necessary. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very free. Very, very. Uh, you know, it's very easy going environment. You can eat in the classroom, enjoy in your classroom, talk in your classroom. Uh, while while class is going on, are while, while class is going on, used to do like that. A- anything you can do, anything. Uh, it's a very friendly environment. Uh, okay. It's not a typical situation. You enjoy your classes. That's all. Even why when right the professor is teaching, you used to take uh, lunch or something like. Uh, no, no, professor, he just come, he just write on a, uh, maybe he talk, he give his lecture, he just go. He, oh. give, he give us like weekly assignments. Those assignments are uh, very important. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm-hmm. As, right. I think American culture, they follow too much of assignments. That's, that's their plus point. They finish yeah. up their work right away. 
but uh, assignments must be only it's copied it's not like uh, all people do that here one right and other all copy that uh, no, no 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 <laughs> no uh, there is a thing called here plagiarism yeah. so if one assignment is copied by another person that that person is called plagiarized yeah, yeah, so plagiarized. if he's plagiarized uh, he will be given a negative grade or a, a different grade so oh. no one should even copy an alphabet called a mm. so that alphabet is plagiarized so yes. whatever we write it should be in a different meaning yeah you know own words even one person takes your right. assignment also one has to understand and uh, reproduce my bad yeah. just uh, yeah. so that's, that's very important Mm. so uh, then within 2 years did you finish your this one uh, the course oh uh, yes uh, yeah uh, that i did my 36 credit hours that is like 2 years course mm. so once i did my 2 years course uh, i'm graduated from marshall university okay uh, how did you feel uh, when you when you went uh, right usa adapting to the right culture some people say that it is a free culture so how do you feel that uh, the environments when when you had seen somewhere like uh, the free culture uh, it's okay initially i took very very uh, long time to you know adjust with this culture or uh, this food culture or you know everyone because people are very easy going they they don't they don't bother as much in fact they they'll not at all bother with anything uh if you even buy a car they'll say uh, they'll not even come hey did you buy a car no no mm. it's not at all like that back in india if we buy a car people will be like in front of jealous. houses like hey did you buy a car let's go yeah. exactly First they are not jealous jealous, like jealous jealous they don't uh, take it as like anything just uh, jealous no, feel jealous no. about it mm. so it's a very it's a very very easy going not at all too hard too harsh did you buy a car over there now no i'm still uh, trying to practice my driving <laughs> okay okay international driving it's international driving license requires for that oh, uh, yeah i do have my international driver's license but uh, right now i'm waiting for uh, driving school story open back uh, during pandemic it's all closed mm mm-hmm. so yeah. we are also run uh, my washington state he, it's running in phases right now like we are in phase 2 mm. uh, so it's like each phase they open up uh, 5 to 10% of uh, state okay mm-hmm. exactly yeah yeah so that uh, overall you were adapted already you adapted towards it more or less yes yeah that's good indeed because the the professionally we have to be right to grow up means here the environment and all definitely should support us so yes. yeah what is the environment of your office it, how would be that uh, office environment uh, my op- office is uh, completely americanized there are no indians i don't know if it is a good thing or a bad thing but there are no indians uh, mm. i'm having only one two indians including me so one in in that case all of my americans uh, most of them are 45 plus so i'm like a junior to everyone oh. maybe that's one good thing because they help me uh, I enjoy this uh, work culture okay they give a very positive environment yeah yeah that's the, they make even, me learn each and every thing mm, very good even all the professionals i think uh, uh, in uh, mm-hmm. all the professionals from usc or the all the professionals from us or the indians also at the workplace uh, there are no there are no indians at all in my uh, office there only just there is only one indian that's all including me there are two indians okay. otherwise most of them are like uh, american one are from spain some are from uh, germany or um, different uh, another international people hmm yes yes that's there yes yes of course uh, so what would you right suggest the students uh, in india uh, to dream about their life uh, to stay in usa or in germany or in any countries i would definitely suggest to uh, for them you know, dream big just don't stop dreaming something uh, very low like you know let's stay in india let's do something no ne- never do that try to explore every culture try to explore every country try to explore every everything you can uh, while you can do uh, maybe that actually help you stabilize or establish your own uh, thing Amendment. maybe they should do this they should uh, give some time to know what they want that is the most important thing 
Okay, uh, one one. Uh, how, can you please suggest that at the same time, how can one has to right overcome the temptations? Uh, regarding what, like what? Any kind of this distractions, distraction because there are many distractions to the next generation. Like, so it may be internet, it may be mobile phones, it may be affairs, uh, uh, living relations, mm -hmm. whatever there. So how actually the persons have to overcome from that? They should stay focused. They should stay dedicated. If 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 they uh, stick to some proper goal, like not just a little a small goal, and they try to stick to some huge picture. So I think definitely they will stay in path. So that's the reason I always say, uh, dream something huge, just not small. Uh, maybe if they can segregate their time, like uh, separate their time, like you know. I'll only chat between five to six. I will only go out with my friends like six to seven, and then I'll study after eight to nine or oh, eleven. You have Maybe they should table. come. You have no, time no, table. I'm, yeah, yeah. No, people. no, no. I don't have a timetable like that, but it, it'll be great. It'll be great yeah. if they follow a timetable. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, because I personally know when I need to talk to my family if they call. They uh, because I'm staying in the United States, staying in England. We need to coordinate a time together. So right now I'm having a timetable maybe like a robot yeah so, like a robot so. when you become professional uh, you have to stick to that right so i i know um right in the first thing in the morning and the last thing in the morning in the, in the night i i do my family stuff in between it's like you know my friends or my office thing or evening when i come back i do my certification so there oh. is definitely no time for my different lifestyle so i'll stick to this lifestyle maybe we Okay, like Saturday and Sunday, I do whatever I want. Like I'll go for hiking or I'll go for ad adventure things, which I'm not doing right now. Yeah, yeah. That, that you're planning for it, okay. So yeah. you you say that one person must have some timetable to grow in his life. They should. They should. Uh, should be some discipline. Uh, if there is no discipline, I don't think uh, they can do anything. I mean, they should uh, adapt some good habits. They should, uh, for example, let's say iron your own clothes. It okay. gives you under. It helps. It, uh, the the reason why I told iron your own clothes because I just did it last night. So that that popped up in my head. It's not a, a thing you need to do it actually. And doing our own work is very important. That's the dignity of labor. Like culti right, cultivate some good habits. Like eat a lot of fruits or uh, concentrate on your um, fitness or. Uh, on your growth, on your career. What do, what do you do or, for fitness? Uh, do you do you go for a jog or walk something like fitness and uh, oh, food? Oh, I'm a yeah, I, I do, I do. Uh, definitely, I eat a lot of fruits. I'm a crazy fan of fruits, so I, I only eat a lot of fruits in summers because that's when we dehydrate a lot. Yes. Uh, yes. We need to gain back our hydration and try uh, try to stay a very outdoor person. Try to uh, be active uh, because I think this is the age we need to be active. Yes, it's compulsory. The whatever the fitness we have at the age of twenties, uh, that uh, really lasts forever uh, when you enter fifty, sixty, seventies. So at the time we can't go for workouts, and so that this twenties itself definitely give us very great. Skills. I mean, I think this is the age we where we come up with good habits, like you know, brush your teeth two times a day, which mm. will uh, help you a lot. Yes. Uh, I mean, these are very basic things. These are very simple, simple things that one can cultivate in their own life. Yes. Uh, iron your own clothes. Go out for a walking. Uh, talk to your parents. Sit down with your parents and understand. Help them uh, see what they want in their life. You know, these are really a basic things one can do. Mm, sure, sure, sure. That's a great thing. Uh, anything would you like to or I'd say to our Indian students? <laughs> uh, definitely, this is a great channel uh, that's giving voice to everyone. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure many of my friends or many of my junior seniors they will come on this channel, share their uh, opinions. So thank you so much, sir, for uh, giving this great opportunity for our for our BVRAT students to talk on this channel. But definitely, my suggestion That's will be no, no, uh, your batch. Your batch was uh, very close to me, indeed. <laughs> that was the first batch for me in BV Rajan's Top Technology. You was uh, two thousand uh, right twelve and sixteen. <laughs> So I joined in to tool, right. tool itself. So that's what we oh, had okay. attachment, close attachment, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, this is really great. That we, I'm very glad to hear that we are your favorite batch. So that's really a good thing to hear. Uh, my to, suggestion is just. Yeah. You are going to say something else. Yes, yes. 
mm-hmm. you are going to say something so, right right yeah my suggestion will be just understand what you want stay focused stay dedicated achieve your own dream uh, be a different person just not the person who stay in a box that's yeah. my only suggestion come out of box come out of thinking what you think at somewhere exactly. like exactly uh, i'm very i'm very happy that everyone is exploring india because ours is one of the greatest culture the greatest country so uh, i'm very happy everyone is doing that but explore different countries explore different foods explore different opportunities resources everything try to be a different person try to read a different newspapers uh, because we need to understand what's happening around globe yeah exactly so very good very good uh, interaction thank you so much uh, right uh, lalita uh, lalita right <laughs> vijay lalita <laughs> right you know vijay lalita uh, valiveti a really fantastic mm-hmm. uh, talk with you uh, most of really enlightening to many of the students and this uh, really i'm very happy that uh, you are sharing and i'm sharing on bsv voice voice with bitla uh thank you so much for uh, right coming as a guest for uh, right further also uh, when you grow up in your life uh, definitely uh, definitely will meet again on screen uh, sure uh, right so that um, i wish you all the best uh, for your future endeavors and definitely you reach the great heights in uh, right in your career and your professional life thank you so much for thank coming so much. Uh, coming on uh, bsv wise that is uh, wise with uh, bitla thank you so much lalita Thank you.